cataractcoach.com. Haptic disinsertion of a three-piece IOL. So what's your next move and how do you address this? Let's watch this fun case here. So posterior caps ruptured happened. Surgeon was sent this patient for management. You can see there's a nuclear piece in the AC. There's some cataract material still in the caps or bag. Probably some piece of cataract in the vitreous. Hey, let me tell you about our podcast. It's really amazing. Every Sunday, everywhere you find podcasts, just an hour a week. And it's truly, the goal of the podcast is for you to learn the secrets of being a successful ophthalmologist. Literally, that's the entire podcast. You will love it. Anyway, so it looks like some intracameral adrenaline's injected, epinephrine, get that pupil expanded. There's a big chunk of nucleus still on the iris there in the angle. Oh, more nucleus here, more lens material, maybe cortex, epinuclear sheet here in the vitreous cavity. So using the vitrectomy cutter to remove that. So yeah, it looks like epinuclear shell. If it was a dense piece of nucleus, you may not be able to remove it just with the vitreous cutter. You may need the phaco phragmatome or other technique, but that cleans up pretty nicely. And so I like that the original surgeon had a complication and then referred the patient to this retina specialist. I agree. 100% of cataract surgeons definitely get dropped cataract material, ruptured posterior capsule. It happens to everyone. It's how do you manage the case? Send the patient to your vitreal colleague for the proper pars plan of vitrectomy, pars plan of lensectomy, and the patient can have a beautiful outcome here. Now, Look how tough this view is. Now, retina surgeons like this, but us anterior segment surgeons, we think, gosh, this is such a limited view. But cleaning things up nicely, core vitrectomy done. This patient's going to have a complete vitrectomy. Here, now removing cortex. So you can use the same um, vitrector just on your machine, hit IA mode or cortex mode to avoid engaging the cutter because you don't want that vitreous cutter to damage the capsule remain, uh, remaining part of the capsule, like the capsule rexus, et cetera, because you want to be able to put your sulcus lens in here, hopefully get some sort of optic capture. So again, taking out the cortex there, again, there's still a chunk of nucleus there on top of that iris. I'm going to get that. There it is. Small nucleus piece prolapsed through the main port. You can definitely do it that way too. Get that thing out of the eye. You want to make sure there's no retained lens material left. And now again, surgeon's cleaning up. A little bit more cortex removal. Again, using the vitrector is very easy. You can either leave it in vitrectomy mode, which is IA cut mode to remove the cortex. Just don't engage the cutter with your foot. Or if you're afraid you will, just use cortex mode. Now, here comes the three-piece lens. Plan for solid placement. There's the leading haptic. Looks like the number seven, right, I hope? Yep, 7L. Seven on that one. But where's the trailing haptic? Watch. Where, there it is. It got stuck in the cartridge. So your technician loaded the lens, you know, probably not the best. And as a result, you're missing it. So can you reinsert the IOL haptic into the optic? Now, you may be surprised to find out that typically glue is not used to place these. And on, in the factory where they make these three-piece lenses, a technician, a human being, actually uses his or her hands under a microscope to manually put the haptics into the optic. They're, they're wedged in there, and it's a friction fit. So you can put it back in. You just need to be able to hold it closer to the end there so it doesn't flop around on you. Now, we've shown you videos here on Catacoach before where a vitreal surgeon will then use the endo laser to burn around that haptic optic junction just to make sure it gets melted in there and doesn't move. So that's not absolutely required, but yeah, you can reinsert the haptic there, and it looks like it's staying. If you have any doubts, just get rid of those lenses and use your backup lens. But I think the surgeon here is able to get this case salvaged. There it is, lens in the sulcus. Not sure if we're going to get an optic capture, maybe. But a beautiful case here. So yes, now you've learned you can reinsert the haptic into the optic on a three-piece lens. And in fact, that's how it was done in the factory where they were made. And it's typically not done with glue. Cool case. Hey, check out that podcast, Apple, Amazon, Spotify, Google, anywhere you find your podcast, you will find the Cataract Coach Podcast. Check it out.